All right, and the third roadblock that we're talking about preventing people from losing weight or if uh, you're trying to build muscle and so forth, we're talking about food in this way. And we talked, she talked about the idea of food handling emotional appetites that should be handled in other ways throughout life. And she talked about how food is a major source of pleasure for a lot of people. Now, of course, food is a major source of pleasure. It should be a source of pleasure for you. But what Catherine was talking about was when we're emotionally eating and food is the only source of emotional fulfillment that we're following. So she talked about some of her clients, they would say, uh, or she would be asking them, well, what do you do for fun? They'd be like, nothing, nothing really to speak of. Well, what do you do when you're stressed or when you're angry or what do you do for that? No, nothing. We need to have multiple emotional outlets. When food is our only go-to, we're in deep trouble because that's all we have. So as soon as we get sad, lonely, depressed, bored, whatever negative emotions we have, if food is our only go-to, we're in trouble because we're gonna overeat and we're gonna stay out of shape or we're not going to be able to handle and process our emotions. So the solution is we need other outlets. Find other things to do that are fun. Find other things to do when you're bored. Find other things to do when you're lonely or sad or whatever that just don't involve food. Because as I've mentioned in the past, we have bad habits for good reasons. Even if you're sitting down and uh, plowing through a pint of Ben and Jerry's when you're sad or depressed, it's still serving a purpose. You're not going to be able to say to yourself, oh, I just won't emotionally eat or I won't uh, do this anymore and expect yourself to be done because there's nothing in the world that'll do that. If you're sad and depressed and that ice cream is your only go-to, uh, that's all you've got and you're not gonna be able to, to keep yourself from it. You need something else, something that's better than the ice cream. Uh, talking with a friend, journaling out your feelings, um, just going out in the woods and screaming your head off, whatever it is, it's gotta be something else. But you have to find a substitute, some other thing to take care of those emotional feelings that you're, you've got. And while food is always going to be an option, it shouldn't be the only or the biggest option that you're having. Hopefully that makes sense. Don't forget to check out the podcast, iTunes, Stitcher, and Google Play for more on that. It was a great podcast. I hope to do it more with Catherine. So let me know your thoughts below. Be fit, live free.